morning good morning good morning good morning guys look at these shoes <gasps> how beautiful are these i'm sorry how beautiful are these now i never get excited about like heeled shoes but i'm bloody excited about these they are beautiful i got them from the zara sale and they were 15.99 15.99 i was like oh my god are you joking me so i picked them up don't know when i'm gonna wear them but that's not the point oh my god i also picked up this dress i'm gonna show you it i really want to get your guys opinion on it i don't know what you're gonna think but this is the dress it's white and it's not actually see-through i've tried it on and although it looks see-through it's got two layers oh no hang on there we go it's got two layers so that's my hand there you can't really see through it okay you can a little bit there but you can't like when i've got it on and it's a v-neck up at the top it's a little bit low but when it's on it's not that bad and then the really really nice long arms and these are like kind of see-through so it looks really pretty and this was 20 pounds i actually don't know how much it was meant to be i'm just gonna have a little look oh it's meant to be 30 pounds and it was 20 so i'd like a tenner off but i don't know when i'd wear that i don't know when i'd wear that because i don't really do the whole going out clubbing thing not that you'd wear that for going out clubbing anyway but i don't know when i'd wear it so let me know what you guys think to both those things in the comments because they're both from zara and i bought them on the same day i bought them yesterday so if i need to take them back if you guys are like they're horrible then i can do it like i can do it as soon as oh my god it's literally the 22nd of june today it's a saturday welcome to the vlog and it's like i'm actually a little bit cold like i'm actually like how how am i cold how am i cold today i got my hair cut by the way don't think i mentioned it there's not actually that much of a difference they literally all she did was cut it so yeah and i just run some curls through it this morning so yeah i just thought i vlogged today um i've got a little latte to have a little chat with you guys Mm, mm, mm. what am i doing today what am i doing today i'm meeting chloe for some lunch slash dinner don't know which one it will be just yet but yeah that's all i've got planned today i need to film a primark video i got a really exciting message from my manager actually he messaged me and he was like pretty little thing i want to send you some clothes and i was like pretty little thing as in plt like as in the place where i shop all the time anyway and he was like yeah i was like oh my god so they're sending me some clothes so i'm so excited like i cannot believe pretty little thing want to work with me on a video um literally crazy they're literally gifting me some occasion wear and i'm gonna do a big try and haul with all the stuff so yeah i'm very excited about that i just had to mention it because i'm so excited what else have i got to update you on i don't actually think i've got any like serious life update mm, that is such good coffee sorry how are you guys anyway how are you i wanted to vlog um i know that my vlogs are not everybody's cup of tea and not everybody loves a vlog but i feel like those of you who do love the vlogs love the vlogs does that make sense like those of you who love them proper love them so yeah i wanted to vlog um so yeah i'm just gonna be vlogging i'm just gonna have like a super chill day i need to do some more of my studies like my course um but i'm a little bit stuck like i've got a bit of a head block with it so i'm gonna wait until tomorrow i'm gonna have like a day for me today obviously i'm gonna film videos this morning and then i'm seeing my friend this afternoon so tomorrow is going to be like a study day and today is going to be like a me day so yeah really really excited about the day because it's slightly sunny um the weather is kind of nice the sky is kind of blue oh my god i have to mention this product before i move on i'm sorry but i do so i have been using this which is the saint Tropez gradual tan there we go it's actually a mini version it's the gradual tan every day body medium to dark gradual tan oh my god i have got this in my face today and don't get me wrong you're probably looking at me and like she's not even that tanned but oh, it's just such a nice like moisturizing tan i don't look like an orange i think i just look like naturally i've got a little bit of an olive skin complexion going on it's just such a nice moisturizing feeling when you put this stuff on um and i don't really use saint Tropez because it's quite expensive and i don't really tend to splash out on fake tan other than my number seven moisturizer which i literally use all the time yeah i don't know if you guys have got any good recommendations for some like nice facial tan let me know obviously i'm recommending this one but i don't actually know how expensive a full size one of these would be so hmm let me know in the comments let me know what you guys think to like facial tan like do you fake tan your face am i the only person in the world who does that i literally fit tan my face when i don't fit tan the rest of my body so yeah i'm always fit tan my face anyway i'm gonna put some makeup on and i will chat to you guys when i've done my makeup i might time lap this up actually put a little time lapse in there oh look cue the time lapse
She says she knows just how to cool down California. Okay, guys, makeup is done. Hello, hello, hello. I have just put on my fairy lights and they work. For any of you guys who watch my main videos, you'll be like, what the hell? I basically broke my fairy lights and they didn't work for ages and I've just literally just randomly switched them back on just to see if they would perhaps work and they just switched on. Uh, don't know how, don't know why. So I feel a little bit lucky right now. So I'm gonna start filming a video but before I actually start filming the video, I wanted to share with you guys my thoughts on this book that I just finished. Some of you guys recommended this to me. I'm just gonna quickly run through my thoughts on A Stranger in the House, which I finished yesterday. It might have been the day before, but literally just finished it this week. It took me a while to get through it, to be honest, because I read on the commute to work. On the way home, I always watch YouTube videos, but on the way there, I do tend to read, like, first thing in the morning, just to kind of get my brain ready for the day. Um, I always start with a book. Obviously, that's just, like, once a day, and then maybe before I go to sleep, I'll, re I'll read a little bit, but because I've just been reading it, like, once a little bit a day it kind of took me a while but I think that's kind of a reflection on this book because it wasn't one of them where I had to know what was going to happen immediately it was one of them where I was quite happy to wait from day to day between each chapter so although it's a kind of thriller book I wasn't sat on the edge of my seat it was just like a good thriller book um it's basically about a couple tom and karen and they live quite happily together and then basically one night for some random reason which we don't know why karen runs out of the house leaves everything behind in her car drives to this dangerous part of town and then she hits this pole and she has a huge car accident and then she ends up in hospital and she can't remember what happened she can't really remember why she was driving she literally just can't remember a thing and her husband tom who she's like happily married with is like super confused he's like what the hell were you doing like that is so not like you like you're such a law-abiding citizen like why did you do that and it's basically about unraveling why she did that what is going on in her little street which is like she lives in a really good part of town it's set in new york and she lives in like this really really nice neighborhood and everyone's like super nice and then suddenly this has happened it's just so out of character for that neighborhood it's a really good read i won't give you any more details because i don't want you to like I don't want to give anything away but it's a really really good read and like little things and little clues get revealed along the way which is good because it's not like it's I don't know like I read one thriller book and they literally like gave away the main storyline right at the beginning and I was like okay and then there was like no other twist along the way so it was like mm, okay so it kind of ruined it at the beginning but this has like a huge twist I'd say at the beginning it has a huge twist in the middle and then it has another huge twist right at the end which is so good because it made it a good read at the end like when I was coming towards the end of it I thought that I'd worked it all out and I was like I don't know I was kind of expecting the ending to be a certain way and then like right at the very end the author put like a huge twist on it and I was like holy shit and you know like when you have to sit for a minute and you're like oh my god I cannot believe what has just happened so then you have to like go back through the book and you're like oh my god yes yeah, so when this happened it was because of this and oh my god it was a really good ending that I wasn't expecting so I would recommend reading this I would say me personally I would give it like a 7 out of 10 it was a good read I really like this author's style of writing she wrote a couple next door or the couple next door which I read which I really enjoyed compared to that one I would maybe even say I enjoyed this one more which I think is an unpopular opinion because I think a lot of people enjoyed the other one more but I don't know I thought it was a really clever plot so yeah the next book I'm actually reading is I'm gonna get it I'm gonna get it for you so the next book I'm reading is actually not one that I bought in my bulk order the other month. I'm reading this by Sally Rooney, it's Normal People. I've heard so much about it. I actually did a book swap with Chloe and I gave her everything I know about love, I think, and she gave me this. And I, I've actually already started this, I'm like a chapter in, and it is one of those books where I am immediately, like as soon as I read the first page, I was like, right, okay, I'm gonna like this book because it's just so easy to read good characters some of you are probably like why are you reading that one when you didn't even why is that's not on your list to read but I, I just cannot resist reading this right now um it just looks so so good so yeah um anyway i'm gonna put some lipstick on i've not actually put any lipstick on whoops and i'm gonna film a video i've got a primark haul that i'm filming today oh my god i've still got these shoes next to me i just love them i can't stop looking at them <laughs> guys i'm not being funny but look at the state of my room there is just clothes everywhere uh, I've filmed a Primark video, I filmed a Pretty Little Thing video. My Pretty Little Thing order actually came like before I started filming, so I filmed that video as well. I've been very productive. Hello, it is the day after. It is Sunday today. Um, I didn't end up vlogging 
for the rest of yesterday. I'm really sorry guys. Um, I ended up going out for a couple of drinks. My camera literally didn't fit in my bag or anything. Um, so yeah. Today I'm having a no makeup day, which normally is not a problem. I mean, it's never a problem, but today I'm going out, which I think a lot of people have no makeup days when they're not doing anything else during the day. But I am actually going out for some breakfast today. We're gonna go to some new place that we have discovered. I was recommended it by a work friend, so we're gonna go try it. Oh my god. I'm gonna put my phone on silent just so it doesn't disturb me. Yeah, we're gonna go out and have some breakfast and a really nice coffee. I think this place that we go in does like the best coffee. So I'm very excited. This is what I'm wearing. It's just this oversized t-shirt from Pretty Little Thing. I got it last year. I actually really, really like it still. It's really nice. And then I'm wearing some cycling shorts as well. So I think I'm gonna put some trainers on with it as well. Quite warm outside. Like it's actually quite humid in my room right now. So I've got my window open and everything. I'm literally so ready for some hot weather in England. Like why? Why is it being so rubbish? Like I actually cannot deal with how rubbish it's been. I'm gonna put a little bit of this Carmex lip balm on, by the way, just thought I'd say that. It's actually some of the nicest lip balm is the Carmex stuff. It's really refreshing on your lips. <laughs> so nice. Look at my little cute bag. Love it. It didn't really go my outfit, but you win some, you lose some. All right, my loves. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Guys, this is my current situation. Just doing my course. I have done about 600 words and I am working from all my notes. It's actually proven to be a little bit... Sorry, I got really, really close to the camera there, didn't I? It's actually proven to be a little bit easier than what I thought it was going to be. Not that many of you are actually that interested in my course, but I know that I do sometimes get questions on how it's going and stuff. I just think some of you guys are, like, being really nice and just getting really interested. So, yeah, it's going okay. I have to submit this part of my assignment or this, like, module pretty soon. So that's why I'm kind of cracking on with it, getting a little bit stressed, as you do. But, yeah, I am actually wanting to get in the shower. Um, and I'm wanting to put on a hair mask, which I'm going to get for you to show you. Where is it, Leah? Where is it? So, I literally never use hair masks. I know some people that do, and they, they kind of rave on about them. And I got this one in this month's glossy box i think i did it might have been last month's glossy box i think it was this one that was gifted by the way and honestly glossy box just are unreal like i love glossy box like i completely forgot how much i enjoy receiving a little parcel of beauty goodness every single month so yeah thank you so so much to glossy box for gifting me one out every single month um i have actually got a discount code and you get 20 percent off your first box so use it why the hell not could not recommend it enough if you like all girly beauty bits of stuff so yeah this was in uh, this one's box and it's the macadamia oil hair mask you've got to leave it on for 10 minutes it says it hydrates protects and repairs dry damaged hair which to be honest like mine's not dry or damaged but i can still use it right you can still use a hair mask and get the benefits so um i'm very excited to use that i'm gonna get in the shower and wash all of my hair and i'll speak to you guys in a little bit so it's a little bit later on oh my god i've literally just used the nicest product Oh my god, it smells insane. I use this Elemis Nourishing Omega Rich Cleansing Oil. Um, I literally just put some on my face and then I rinsed it off with some warm water. Oh my god, it smells insane. My skin feels so nice and soft. It's amazing. I'm just going to put some of this saint um fake tan stuff on that I mentioned yesterday or this morning. I mentioned it one of the days. But I asked for some questions from you guys on my Instagram. So I have a few. Um, I literally didn't put it on long ago. I literally put it on like 10 minutes ago. So quite a few have come through. So I'm just going to go through and answer some of them like. I'm sorry, by the way, that my hair is a little bit wet still. Um, I decided to leave it after getting it out of the shower. Um, I kind of just like wanted to leave it to dry. So the first question that I'm going to answer is, what's your views on same-sex marriage? Um, my views on same-sex marriage is that it's totally fine. Like totally it kind of makes me upset that this is even like a question because same-sex marriage is fine like it's not like my opinion it's a fact that it is fine it's, it's good it's the i think it's good if two people love each other no matter what uh gender they are they should be allowed to get married and live a happy life so yeah that's my views on it i just i just want people to be happy to be honest and if it's two men who want to get married or if it's two women who want to get married or just whatever gender just if people want to get married then they should be able to get married like literally not an issue at all i don't understand why it's an issue to some people i genuinely don't chloe has asked are you gonna do any more challenges if so what um challengers um i don't actually have many challenges on my channel 
it's not really like the content that i produce i actually asked you guys over on my instagram the other day what videos you want to see on my channel and a few people had actually messaged me um or put on the story that i put on that you want to see some challenges um but i just don't really know what challenges that i would do um i'd be down for doing some but i just don't really know what i do so if you want me to do any let me know in the comments and let me know what i should what i should film what is your favorite part of making youtube videos e.g filming editing etc this is a good question i think my favorite part of making youtube videos would probably be probably have to say getting to that point where you've made the final product so once you've filmed it once you've edited it and once it's all together and then you make a thumbnail and then you put your description in and once it's that like final product when you've put everything together and then it's like ta-da little project that's been made i guess my favorite part would be the end of the process when everything has come together and then you guys get to watch it and comment and see if you like it and stuff like that so yeah i would probably say that would be my favorite part but in terms of the actual process like which bit um, i do really enjoy editing videos i do really enjoy that so yeah and then a girl called leah also asked what do you like the most about doing youtube so i guess that would kind of fall under the question that i've just answered yeah i think one of the things that i like the most is interacting with you guys and getting to know new people which would obviously be you guys and just chatting and interacting with you guys and getting recommendations from you guys as well like literally the reason why i'm reading all the books that i'm reading is because you guys recommended them so yeah, I really, really like that. Oh my god, my hair's gone crazy. I have actually got a load more questions. I want to answer some more, but I feel like my hair is so, so shit and I really want to dry it and style it. So I'm going to dry it and I'm going to style it and then I'm going to come back onto this vlog and I'm going to answer some more questions. Hello, it is the next day. I didn't actually end up picking the vlog camera up again. Yesterday, I had a really weird evening and didn't really feel myself, so I just didn't want to vlog so it's monday evening right now and um, i just want to put in this vlog how much i'm loving this book i literally cannot put it down i started reading it properly last night and i'm already on page 98 and that is just not normal for me like i never get through books quickly because i'm never that addicted this book seriously has captured my attention like i cannot put it down like as soon as i finished filming this vlog clip my plan is to just keep reading i'm honestly loving it so so much the storyline is i don't know like it's not my mind-boggling it's just oh, i'm just very much connected with the characters so yeah love 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 this book but i wanted to carry on my q a because i never got to finish it yesterday and i did actually end up getting quite a few questions so i thought i would continue with la q and a i'm not going to answer too many because i feel like this vlog is going to end up being quite long um, um i did actually get quite a few deep questions to be honest um questions like about my future and my career and things like that which i will answer a few of but i don't want to get too deep in this vlog oh my god also just because i flicked to this little picture here and um, i put this on my instagram today i got an iced cappuccino today from cafe nero and i don't know if you can see there on the clip like but all that is foam like there was so much foam on top of the latte on top of the cappuccino sorry i was like oh my goodness it was okay i probably wouldn't say it was 10 out of 10 for me i didn't love the iced cappuccino um but that's because i'm not a massive fan of cafe nero coffee anymore i used to proper love it when i first like fell in love with coffee and first started to drink it i used to go to nero all the time like literally all the time but i just don't go anymore the taste of the coffee beans is just not I don't know it doesn't float my boat anymore i don't really like it but yeah i literally just went to read my book so i wanted to get a little coffee so i went there because i had a free one on my app so i didn't want to spend any money so i went there and got a free one oh there's a few questions about ben to be honest a lot of people seem to be interested in um when are you gonna let us know when you met or how you met sorry that's like the main question that i get asked all the time is like how did you meet your boyfriend and how did you meet your boyfriend which i will answer in a video i feel like i'll do it when we're together i think i've said that before but if Ben ever joins me in a video, uh, I think we'll I think we will share on the video when he is with me. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled because that video could come sooner than what you think. Oh my god, the most recent question was how is life? <laughs> life is good, thanks. Um, I hope your life is good as well. Favorite Netflix series? This is not a deep question, but favorite Netflix series at the moment. It's a good question. I haven't actually been watching anything on Netflix that's been new. I know a lot of people have recommended and said I've got to watch that when they see us, which is I think it's about five kids who were accused of murdering and sexually assaulting this woman in Central Park. Is it Central Park? I don't know, I can't remember. But but that's meant to be really really good and it's based on a true story so 
that's been recommended to me um but i haven't watched it so that's not my favorite i think the most recent thing that i watched on netflix would have to be dead to me which i thought was amazing it was so so good it was kind of like dark humor yeah i would highly recommend dead to me i thought it was really really good it kept me hooked and i didn't take too long to watch it either so that's it's a good sign okay so this is the last question i'm gonna ask and it is what are your plans for your career path um okay so i think this is like a hard question to answer for me because I've never had a strict career plan. I feel like with some careers, for example, a teacher, you go to university and then you do your teacher training year and then you're qualified to be a teacher and then you can kind of move up the ladder and you know what the steps are. Like you might become a head of year and then a head teacher or a university lecturer or a college teacher or you can progress in different ways and the ways that you can progress are pretty straightforward but with marketing what i do it's a little bit more unknown because it is like a new industry in the grand scheme of things like looking at the big picture of life and the world marketing has literally only just come in um in the past couple of decades i'd say um i know marketing has always been a part of business but digital marketing kind of specialize in and it's what i'm most interested in um that is definitely the very much a new thing and you know although marketing has been around for such a long time because it's always been part of business and like business studies if any of you guys have studied business studies at GCSE and stuff um which I didn't but I know that it is a part of that course and things like that obviously I know it's been around but the technical technical technological and digital side of it and social media and online that whole umbrella of marketing is new exciting and that is why i love it so we kind of like don't really know where it's going to go because obviously like youtube is a huge platform now which you probably wouldn't have guessed well you definitely wouldn't have guessed like 20 years ago that youtube's such a big part of marketing now you know like facebook is the leader of social media platforms at the minute it's like the king of all social medias but who knows like in the next 20 years there might be a new platform it might be a different platform so i don't know it's kind of a little bit unknown which is why my kind of job and my career path is a little bit unknown who knows whether in the next 30 years the best thing to do for marketing to be in the marketing industry is freelance if that is the case then maybe it will be freelance i kind of love the idea of working for myself i would kind of love to work for myself i don't know like i feel like having my own project and my own stuff um, is a little bit exciting but obviously that's kind of like way in the future so i don't know it's hard to it's hard to map out your career when it's not something that's been set out like you know like if you're a teacher or something so it's a hard question to answer um and i've tried to answer it i guess you know lots of the different things excite me and you know who's to say that in 40 years i've done marketing all my life and then i suddenly decide that right that's it i want to be a teacher or i don't know like there's other things that i'm really really interested in and i think that's why i found it hard at school and in college and stuff to pinpoint exactly what i wanted to do because i am interested in such a variety of things like for example i'm super super interested in photography like i love taking photos and that was something that i seriously considered for such a long time and i'm very much still interested in that i'm also seriously interested in writing and you know like don't get me wrong on my bucket list is to write a book like i want to write a book i love writing stories i think a lot of my friends maybe just my close friends would they know like how how much I enjoyed story writing and things so that is another field that I'm so interested in like I could have easily gone to uni to do English for example I would have really enjoyed that I think I'm also seriously interested in marketing which is why I do what I do I'm seriously interested in kind of the graphic design side of things and videography and the whole creative umbrella I'm very much interested in but then on the flip side which is completely different to everything that I've just said I could see myself being like a counsellor or a mental health support worker or something like that because I love uh, helping people and after being through some struggles myself as a teenager I think that I would be very good at recognizing when somebody is suffering and being able to help them in the right way I feel like I know kind of what approach to take even though I've not studied it and I appreciate I would need to study it but yeah like the psychology stuff I really enjoy so yeah you can literally tell how I'm just rambling on how much stuff I actually enjoy I think it's just about finding what your what your niche is because I enjoy all those things but who's to say I would actually be really good at them if I actually did it practically in a job that I do not know because obviously I don't know and I don't know if I'll ever know because I don't think anybody in their life gets to try every single job they want to 
yeah, I don't know. I could also see myself being a teacher as well. I really wanted to be a teacher at one point, but it's gonna kick off on Love Island tonight, by the way. I am, I'm not gonna talk through what's going on because I feel like whenever this video is gonna go up, I'm gonna be too late to the party. And this is probably gonna go up next week or even the week after. So whatever I say now will be so out of date by the time this vlog goes up. But thank you so, so much for watching today's vlog. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Um, sorry it's been a little bit mishmash, but I kind of really enjoyed vlogging over the weekend. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you again next time. Bye guys.